welcome to the Drow Pros feature on Center Fine. Now I've got an ES10 3M5 right here on our milling machine and I want to show you how the Center Fine feature works. What we have over here is we have a stock piece of aluminum and we want to find the exact center point of this piece of aluminum stock. So let's go ahead and talk about that first on the whiteboard. Okay, the first thing that we need to do here is we'll illustrate the piece of aluminum by the rectangle. And then by using an edge finder, we're going to go over to the right hand side of it. We're going to establish point one, which will be the right edge of the stock of aluminum. Then we'll move the table over and we will establish position two on the left edge of the material. So let's go ahead and start with that move back to our mill and I'm going to run the machine or the table over to the left and I have what's called a wiggler in the machine okay let's go ahead and start it up and with the wiggler what we need to do is simply move the table over until the wiggler stops moving and remains at a stationary point so let's go ahead and do that bring the table over and you can see the the wiggler starts to slow down as far as moving back and forth okay now we've come to a point where the wiggler has remained stationary so on the display here I'm gonna I'll go ahead and center out my x-axis so we're at exactly zero I'll go ahead and turn off the machine and raise the the head or lower the table whichever you need to do go ahead and bring it over to the left hand side of the stock okay I'll go ahead and lower my wiggler and I'll have to move it just displace a little bit so it has so it rotates a little bit let's go ahead and turn the machine on And again, we'll bring the table over so it just stops moving. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and turn the, the machine off. So let's go ahead and bring the value over here. So we have a, a value in the x-axis of 6.1276. And remember, we zeroed out the value over on the right side. So we have zero on the right side, 6.1276 on the left side. So what we want to do is we want to have that amount or use the center find feature so that we can find the exact midpoint between these two coordinates. Okay, so on the box here, we have 6.1276. The center find function is the second button from the left but first we have to tell the machine which axis it needs to have so let's go ahead and press X it wants us to enter a value we'll go to one half and 3.0638 is exactly halfway between 0 and our previous value of 6.1276 so let's go ahead and write that value down 3.0638 So now we've established on waypoint or point number two, instead of 6.1276, it actually reads 3.0638. So if we go to the right, move the machine to the right, to the point at which it zeroes out, that will establish for us the exact halfway point between these two distances. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to simply move my machine over until the x-axis value reads exactly zero. Now as I get closer, I slow down the movement a little bit here. See if I can get it. There we go. Okay. So now on the x-axis, I have exactly found the center point of my workpiece using the center find feature. 
Well, that concludes the center find feature of the ES10. It's easy to use, and now you can use it too.